In this demo, you'll see how Vista Medical is able to deliver value three times faster, driving cash flow and increasing inventory turns by solving their challenge around backordered products. And you'll see specifically how Marcus, he's our developer, is able to help Sarah, our fulfillment manager, by building an AI agent powered process that's always available right there in Automation Copilot. So to start out, our fulfillment manager, Sarah, logs into SAP and sees her critical metrics dashboard. And unfortunately, things are not going so well. She can clearly see the issues that they are experiencing with back orders and how it's impacting the business as a whole. Back orders are increasing, causing cash flow to go down and fulfillment time to go up. So now let's look at how Marcus, our developer, can help solve this problem using an AI powered process. Marcus logs into the control room, where he sees that he has a new automation order fulfillment opportunity assigned. Since this opportunity already has a BPMN diagram attached, he can simply click on the option to generate this automation with Autopilot. The BPMN outlines in detail all the steps of this process, which Marcus needs to build the automation. So it turns out this is great news for Marcus, because it means he will be able to build this very fast. When he hits generate, Autopilot kicks in using our Gen AI system, which includes process models, to convert it into the outline of the automation he needs. And there it is. And so you see the process outline has been generated using Autopilot. You can also see our new process composer view that includes tools for building more advanced processes, including better organization tools with swim lanes and logical groupings, as well as the ability to embed AI agents in any of these processes. There is still work for Marcus to do though. He has to fill out the details of these automation steps and AI agents in the workflow around order fulfillment. So now let's see how we can build out the AI agent for finding the replacement products for backordered products. To do this, Marcus opens up AI Agent Studio, which is his new destination for building AI agents and bringing them into the process. Here he can see his agents, his skills, his model connections, and his governance rules. What he needs to do now is to create a new AI skill to find the replacement products. The first step is to select his model, and he chooses AWS Bedrock, which is grounded to their product information using Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG. With this done, the first step is to search for and add relevant information to the model so that it has the context from Vista's product catalog to make decisions. Next, he needs to build and test his prompt. He writes out the prompt around finding product alternatives, including the prompt variables, which add in specific product details for each order. When the automation runs, he can then put that sample data into his variables to be used for testing the prompt. Now, since he's working with a RAG prompt, he can add things like data filters, which can specify which information to use at a more granular level in completing the task. So in this case, he adds a filter to make it only look at medical devices. Lastly, he can enable data masking to mask sensitive information like PII automatically from his model input. So now he's ready to test his prompt and he gets a response in a structured format that he can use in his automation. He can easily try out different prompts, different models and data in this environment to make sure he's getting the best results. But this prompt is looking good, so he goes ahead and saves it. Once saved, this becomes a managed skill it's something that he can govern from a single place across many agents and processes. Now let's go back to finish building our product alternatives agent with this new skill. Once our agent is open, we can first add in the skill that we just created to get started. So this is the skill around finding those replacement product options. Next, we need to add actions to our AI agent. And to do that, we can go ahead and open up Copilot. In this case, we want to add the ability to look up availability information for the potential product replacements. In this case, we're doing that in SAP. We prompt Copilot to use the alternatives recommended with our new skill and check each product's availability details. Once we have all that, we use another AI skill to review the availability information, product details, and to generate the final product replacement recommendation. And just like that, our generative AI model has turned our intent into the automation workflow we need. Marcus will still need to fill in the details, but this has sped up the process of getting the agent built. 
With our agent and process completed, Marcus can save and deploy this new tool for Sarah and her supply chain team. What he has just done is to create an AI agent grounded in his data with enterprise guardrails connected to action in the systems like SAP and orchestrated as a part of an end-to-end -end business process. Now let's go back to SAP and see how Sarah can use this new process to fill those back orders. So we'll start at her order screen. From here, she can open up Automation Copilot and ask it to find alternatives for this back-ordered product. She can even do this using natural language, thanks to our new conversational platform integration. We've identified the process that Marcus just built, and the agents are working on finding the best alternatives for Sarah. They come back with a short list of product alternatives she can choose from to fulfill the back order. She selects the first one after confirming the replacement. Another agent can help draft an email to the customer, letting them know about the product update. Sarah decides to make a few minor updates to the email and is ready to make the update to the order and notify the customer. Once she does that, the order's updated and the product is back on its way to the customer. With this automation, Sarah and her team are able to quickly turn things around for Vista. Okay, so here's the fun part. Let's fast forward and check in on our dashboard. It turns out cash flow's going up while back orders are dropping significantly. This is a huge win for their business and great news for their customers who are getting their orders filled fast. That's how Vista Medical is able to deliver millions in value three times faster by solving their back ordered products issues with AI agents, process orchestration, and automation copilot. Learn more about AI agents and how they can help your business at automationanywhere.com.